Also breaking tonight, long lines and standing room only space at a special town meeting in Canton. Hundreds showed up tonight to vote on a topic that has divided a town. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Glenn Jones. And I'm Priscilla Casper. This vote centers around the high profile Karen Reed case. She is a woman charged with the murder of her boyfriend, Boston police officer John O'Keefe. We want to get out to our NBC 10's Kirsten Glavin joining us live from Canton with the very latest on this vote. Chris, Kirsten. Yeah, that meeting ended just minutes ago. We're talking more than 1,700 people coming out here tonight to vote on whether or not to audit the Canton Police Department. Residents saying yes in the special town meeting. Final number, 903 to 800. It actually came down to two rounds of voting tonight. The first vote by hand initially passed in support of an audit, but that was formally challenged, so a second vote was done. A vote of no confidence in the department was also just withdrawn less than 10 10 minutes ago. Now, it has been very divided here all night. As for those speaking, we heard one resident argue there are already checks and balances in place with the department. Another person countering that argument, saying that while policies are in place, an audit would look at officers' compliance. She referred to current protocols as self grading. Now, the vote comes in response to the 2022 Canton murder case that rocked this town. Prosecutors allege Karen Reed hit her boyfriend, Boston police officer John O'Keefe, with her SUV leaving him to die in the snow after a night out. Her attorneys accusing police of a cover-up. Many people have taken sides on this. Here's just a little of what we heard tonight. There's a whole bunch of different things already in place here to cover all this with court trials being the ultimate oversight. Nobody likes to have an independent audit done, but when it is done, it shines light on where you're doing things right and where you're doing things where you need to improve. And we did reach out to the Canton police chief tonight for her response to this decision. We're still waiting to hear back. This case is set to go to trial in March. Reporting live in Canton tonight, I'm Kirsten Glavin, NBC 10 Boston.